Welcome to the 52 JavaScript projects in 52 weeks challenge. The project of the fourth week will be a counter. Today we will be creating a simple counter app where you can increment and decrement on a button click. So the first thing we need to do is create a div with an ID named container. Close it and open it again. And inside this div, you will create another div with the ID number and give it a text of zero, which will represent a one number, which we can then increment or decrement. Next, we will need a, we will need two buttons. First, the increment button, which we will just um, give a plus. Oops. And right behind that, we will create another button and give it the ID decrement and give it a minus. So this is already finished now. We have a button, we have, we have two buttons with a plus and a minus and a number which we can increment. Um, just for styling purposes, we can also add a H1 tag. So we know what this project is about. And now we need to link our style sheet and JavaScript file. So we need to type in rel style sheet href here just type in the name of your style um, CSS file. In my example it's style CSS as you can see and at the bottom of your body type in your script tag src for the source and the name of your JS file. All right, we're finished with the HTML document. Now we will style the whole HTML document. I already added a background color, which works right after we implemented the CSS file. And next we will style the container, which we will access by typing a hashtag and the ID name. And then we will give our div a height of 200 pixels, a width of 500 pixels, also give it a border of, you don't need to, but I just did it because it looked better than the boring white background and box, 926, 9b1, also set, it, set the margin to auto, and give the margin you can also just add it in here margin top 50 pixel and auto so now we have a div with a border now we will add a background color and this will be kind of green so now it looks like this also, we need to center the h1 tag. We do this by typing in text align center. Also, we will give it a color of white. And now it looks like this. So next we can um, center the number and the buttons and style it a bit. So access your number. Oops, num number. And give it a height of 25 pixels, a width of 250 pixels, margin auto, margin top 50 pixel. Yeah, we can do the same thing here. Also, set the border one pixel solid black, and also align the text in the center. Also give it a background color of white. And now it looks like this. Really nice, right? All right, now the buttons. These look really boring. So we will type uh, access our increment button and give it a height of 25 pixels, a width of 100 pixels, the margin, 
no. margin top can be around 50 pixels and the margin left can be around 125 pixels now we have a button the same with the decrement button also at a height of 25 pixels a width of 100 pixels margin oops margin top 50 pixel pixel and margin left also 50 pixel and now oh and now we have something weird um well maybe we can't do it like this and we actually need to type in margin top 50 pixels no maybe this one margin top 50 pixel whoa oopsie now it works okay so we can't just i mean we probably can but i don't know how we can put um all of these sizes into one margin but now we are finished with the front end now we will work on the functionality and first we need to add um, an add button so create the variable add and get your increment button by typing document get element by id and type in increment also you need to you need you need a button for removing so just um, create a variable name it however you want i named mine dot uh, remove also get the element by id which is decrement and now we need to get the number we can do this also by declaring a variable i will call mine int for integer type in document get element by id and also get the id which is number and um and create a variable and set its value to zero so now we can add the event listener to our add button um, add event listener on click to this function so whenever whenever someone clicks on our add button which is the the button with the id increment which is this one with the plus our um, function will increase the integer by one so whenever someone clicks on it our integer variable will get plus one right now it's at zero as you can see here and if we now nothing happens but it would be at one but we can see it that's because we actually need to output our integer number to our int um to our number output um this one and we do this by typing an int which we um declared here which is our number variable uh, number number output and type an int inner html equals integer so now um, when Ever someone clicks on our button with the plus sign it will increase the integer by one which is now zero and also add the integer to our number output which you can see here when we press press on it it will increase by one which will do it every time we press on it and now we want to decrement it so now just create the exact exact same Thing just for our remove variable so type in remove at event 
event listener click function and open it up and just type in integer minus equals one and also int inner html equals integer and now if you save everything open up your html file and press minus it will go to minus one you can also increment and it will increment so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe or comment down below and if you want to get the source code and build this project yourself or read this tutorial as a blog article visit my website learn-webdev.com link is in the description